A few nights ago, Gus asked me if I wanted to look at constellations with him. He showed me Cassiopeia, Orion's Belt, Lynx. Apparently, Lynx isn't even named for the animal. The guy who made up the constellation said that anyone who wanted to see it should have eyes like a lynx. I guess Gus does. Acne all clear for teens. But Gus only has like two pimples. Oh well. Anything's enough to make that kid feel self-conscious. Acne all clear for teens. But Gus only has like two pimples. Oh well. Anything's enough to make that kid feel self-conscious. A few months ago, I did a load of laundry for Gus and decided to fold it and put it away just to be nice. I found a glossy photo at the bottom of his shirt drawer. But it wasn't Megan Fox, or Selena Gomez, or a Playboy centerfold. It was Jillian Anderson from The X-Files, carrying a gun and looking badass. It's also very pink, but it suits her. What's this? Ha! <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about Fräulein. Dad said Merle could have a new doll if she played this educational computer game that was supposed to teach German. I think the only words she remembers are Schwimmbecken and Schwester. And Fräulein, of course. When did she start wearing this? I didn't take her to get it. Dad would rather lie on a bed of nails than take Merle bra shopping. I guess one of her friend's moms must have. Hmm. Huh. Number four, her lucky number. <sighs> Merle never makes her bed. I guess she doesn't have time for it. She's too busy dreaming up crazy ideas or running through the woods to who even knows where. Hey, it's my old copy of Matilda. I used to have nightmares about Miss Trunchbull. It's locked for Mom kept an herb garden here. She might have been a terrible cook, but we always had fresh basil for our pasta. And fresh rosemary and lavender, and mint. Bluebirds aren't very common, but one year we had a bluebird build her nest in our birdhouse. Lady bluebirds aren't blue all over, like the males. They're grayish orange with little tips of blue on the wings, like gloves. We never really knew what kind of dog crap was. One of dad's co-workers' dogs had a litter of puppies, and mom got a look at a photo of them. <laughs> well, that was it. 
crab came home with us a month later. This thing is so stuck it won't budge. I'll need something to oil the latch. WD-40 maybe? Do you know where the WD-40 is? WD-40? Why? The gate's stuck. It's been sticking for a while, but someone must have slammed it and gotten it jammed. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Uh, you could check the kitchen. It might be in there. Or in the hall closet upstairs. Although it wouldn't surprise me if Gus had it in his room for one of his experiments. Good places to start the search. Thanks, Dad. I'll let you get back to work. There it is! What's underneath the WD-40? I didn't know Dad kept a journal. Maybe there are more parts lying around. That should do it. Most people don't even bother locking their bikes on the rack. Why would you? Everyone knows Chris Langley has the red mountain bike, for example, and Ari Shamimi has a lime green cruiser. If the bike goes missing, then turns up in a nearby pawn shop, well, people figure things out. In the summer, this lot would be filled up with people coming to fish or sunbathe or play pickup soccer games. But the crowd drops off during the winter. People huddle in their houses, like rabbits, sort of. The map is useful for tourists, I guess, but most people who are from here know to orient themselves using the bay, like a liquid compass. Simmonses are like the Rockefellers of Aylin County. Or they used to be, anyway, 50 years ago. Most of them have moved away now, I think. Someone dropped their... Wait, isn't that Dad's?
It was mostly my mom's friend Sasha who got this wall put up in honor of mom, but so many people have added stuff to it. You usually see memorials for people who have died, but... Mom never was a churchgoer. Still, the sentiment's nice. That sounds just like him. They hold camps here in the spring and summer so that kids can learn about food chains and wildlife preservation. Kids of volunteers got to go for half the regular price, so we all went every summer until we aged out. Mom would pack us a lunch, and we'd eat it here with all the other kids. Always the same thing, an apple, a clementine, and a PB&J. She was creative with plenty of stuff, but not packed lunches. I can't believe it. They left the door unlocked. The storm last night must have blown it open. I think Mom said this used to be one of the outbuildings that belonged to Tintagel, the Simmons estate. They repurposed it to be volunteer headquarters. It's not that big, but there are never very many volunteers. In my expert opinion, these were once Snickerdoodles. I bet Ginger made them. She's a fantastic baker. Sasha, the volunteer coordinator, calls all the volunteers inside for lemonade and cookies during the afternoon. That's why I always liked her when I was younger. If you come in at least one day a week, you get a cubby here to keep your gardening gloves and your water bottle. I guess they never got around to cleaning mom's out. She always bought organic bug spray, an aromatherapy blend, not anything with DEET. This one had rosemary, lavender, cedarwood, and lemon eucalyptus oil. I wonder if it actually worked. Another part of Dad's journal. Did Mom put this here before she disappeared? This was a gift from mom to the volunteers. It's her favorite poem. All Yeats is fairies, glimmering midnights. Man, she loves that stuff. That's where they keep all the equipment. Rakes, hose, trash pickers, wheelbarrows, that kind of thing. Water always tastes a little bit like iron, a little bit like blood. The bathrooms are the size of porta potties, but at least they have soap. <laughs> 